Hi YouTube, I'm Tim and welcome to another one of my DVD and Blu-ray updates. This time it's a very large haul of DVDs and Blu-rays, well mainly Blu-rays. I've got some movies that I bought from Amazon Prime, Synapse Films, Shout Factory, and Kino Lorber. Yeah, I've got larger hauls from Shout Factory and Kino Lorber. But first, one Scorpion releasing Blu-ray that I bought off of Amazon Prime. It's one they licensed from Shout Factory. Aloha, Bobby and Rose, starring Paul Lamatt from American Graffiti. Now, Bobby has a 68 Camaro Rose as a five-year-old kid, on their first date, they became lovers and fugitives. So let me read what's on the back. Bobby has, has a new 68 Camaro and a dead-end job. Rose has a young son and a nowhere life. One night they meet, fall in love, and share a dream of leaving the seedy side of Hollywood for the easy life of ha Hawaii, but when an innocent prank goes tragically wrong, Bobby and Rose are on the run from the law and for their lives. As they take to the highway, they find that paradise is just out of reach and that aloha can also mean goodbye. Aloha, Bobby and Rose stars Paul Lamatt, Melvin and Howard, Death Valley and American Graffiti, and Diana Hall, Girls on the Road, and the fifth, the fifth floor, with Robert Carradine, Blackout, and Revenge of the Nerds, and Tim McIntyre. The Choir Boys and Fast Walking and Edward James Olmos. Featuring classic songs by Elton John, D Bob Dylan, Emerson, Lake and Palmer. Er, er, and Junior Walker and the All Stars and the Temptations. This is a road mov movie like you've never seen before and a love story you'll never forget. From a brand new HD Master, special features a brand new 2017 HD scan of the original inner positive with extensive color correction, and then brand new on camera interviews with stars Paul Lamatt and Robert Carradine and director Floyd Mutrex. And you get the original trailer on this Blu ray. It's the movie's in color from 1975, 88 minutes, rated PG, English stereo audio, 1080p, high definition widescreen, 1.78. It's regions A, B, and C. And it's licensed, it's licensed from Shout Factory for Scorpion, the Scorpion releasing. So, Aloha, Bobby, and Rose. And then I got a steel book. I ordered a steel book from Synapse Films, and it's a European drive in horror movie, The Living Dead at Manchester Morgue. And this was released to drive ins and walk in movie theaters in the US as Don't Open the Window, and it's been out on DVD as Let Sleeping Corpses Lie, but it, it's a Spanish, I believe it's the it's an English dubbed Spanish horror movie that takes place in England. Stars Ray Levlock, who is an Italian actor who had a British mother, but I believe his dad, well, one of his parents was Italian, the other was British. But you get the English dub of this movie in the steel book on a DVD as well as on a Blu-ray and then there should be a CD in here as well. 
well, disc list Blu-ray and DVD, but I think, I believe there's a CD soundtrack in here, just like the Steelbook that Synapse did of Suspiria. There's the artwork on the front, and here's the artwork on the back. I haven't torn the shrink wrap off of it. So the Living Dead at Manchester Morgue DVD Blu-ray Steelbook I got from Synapse. And then from Shop Factory I bought one DVD and a bunch of Blu-rays. The DVD I bought is Sahara, starring Brooke Shields. It's a 30th anniversary edition, and so far, the only Blu-ray edition of this has been put out by 88 Films in the UK, and I believe that one's region locked. So I just bought a cheap DVD, and it's loose, even though I haven't opened this yet. The passions and the engines run as hot as the desert sands in Sahara, a romantic adventure featuring international superstar Brooke Shields. Shields portrays Dale, an American heiress who disguises herself as a man to take the place of her late father in a 1927 auto race through the Sahara Desert. Before she can finish the race, she finds herself caught up in a conflict between two powerful men, a villainous lord, Word Beg, Ronald Lacey, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and the dashing Lambert Wilson, the Matrix, and the dashing Jafar, played by Lambert Wilson, the Matrix Reloaded, and it also stars John Rhys Davies, who was in Raiders of the Lost Ark as well, and he was in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. And this also features an evocative musical score by Anino Morricone, The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, and Sahara is an exotic race to the heart of adventure. And the Canon Group presents Brooke Shields in a Golan Globus production of an Andrew V. McLaglen film, Sahara. And special features are just a theatrical trailer and a photo gallery. And all new anamorphic widescreen transfer 2.35 and Dolby Digital Stereo 2.0. The movie is approximately 106 minutes in color. Rated PG, region 1 locked. And this is put out by Shout Factory's Timeless Media Group, which is a budget home video label that Shout Factory bought up. And it's licensed from MGM, and their their deal with Shout Factory's is deal with MGM is about up. So this is probably going to go out of print soon. So hopefully somebody will put out a Blu-ray of this in the U.S. So I won't have to get a region, an all regions Blu-ray player to import the 88 films Blu-ray. So, Brooke Shields and Sahara on DVD from Shout Factory. And then also from Shout Factory, got a made-for-TV horror movie on Blu-ray called The Spell. It's another one that they licensed from MGM, so this is probably going to go out of print because they've had a deal with MGM for, for a number of years now. Seems like seven or eight years they've had a deal. Her thoughts cast a deadly spell of terror. Fifteen-year-old Rita lives in an ordinary town, attends an ordinary high school, and wants to lead an ordinary life. 
but Rita is, is far from an ordinary teenager. Over, overweight and self-conscious Rita Susan Myers from James at 16 is the victim of cruel teasing by many of her classmates. Only her mother, Lee Grant, who was in the movie Damon the Omen 2, and her gym teacher, Le Leah Goldoni, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, seem to understand her, but their understanding is not enough to contain the rage that wells up within Rita, and when it does, the rage causes a supernatural power inside of her to take over. Those who are against Rita begin to die. There seems to be no way to stop the terror once Rita has cast her spell. This terrifying television film from 1977 also stars James Olsen, Amityville 2, The Possession, Hel Helen Hunt, Twister, and was written by genre writer Ryan Taggart, Visiting Hours, Poltergeist 3, and The Omen for The Awakening. So this is something like Stephen King's Carrie, but it's, this was a made-for-TV horror movie. Special Features New commentary by a made-for-TV movie historian and author Amanda Reyes, or Amanda Reyes, and a new in interview with screenwriter Brian Taggart, and the audio is mono, HD mono audio. And video is 1080p high definition 1.33. And it's region A locked color, not rated, but runs plus or minus 86 minutes from 1977 English subtitles. So the spell. Another one from Shout Factory part of their Scream Factory line. And then another one part of Shout Factory Scream Factory line of Blu-rays. Monster on Campus, and this is a 50s creature feature movie that they licensed from Universal Pictures. Co-ed, beauty, captive of man, monster, campus terror, students, victims of terror, beast, monster on campus, a monster born in a college lab, atmospheric and suspenseful, a good dose of action, a good old-fashioned creature feature that hit all the right notes and never failed to entertain, the telltale mind, and fierce stocks the seemingly tranquil halls of Dunsfield University with the arrival of a prehistoric fish, the col the col or the cola a can terror begins when a student's dog laps up the water that has been contaminated by the fish and turns into a savage wolf attacking Madeline Howard, Joanna Moore, Touch of Evil, the school's paleontology professor, Donald Blake, Arthur, Arthur Franz, the cane mutiny, is accidentally bitten by the, by the colacanth and blacks out, only to find that a uh, hulking beast has killed one of his friends. Somehow, contact with this fish's prehistoric blood causes a total collapse of evolution, turning animals and humans into mindless, murderous monsters. Special features new audio commentary by author Dana M. Remus, directed by Jack Arnold and new audio commentary by Professor of Film Studies author Mark Jano Jankovic. And then you get Rash 
Rational Fears, American Horror in the 1950s, and you get a theatrical trailer and a still gallery. And this came out in 1958, or, well, copyright in 1957, but then I also list 1958, so I'm guessing it was copyrighted a year before it came out, so it's from 1958, run 77 minutes, not rated because this was released before there were film ratings, region A locked, and it's in 1080p high definition, widescreen 1.85, and the audio is HD mono, and then there's English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, so Monster on Campus, licensed from Universal Pictures for Shout Factory Scream Factory Blu-ray line. Synapse. Scorpion releasing Blu-ray I got from whatchamacallit, Amazon Prime, and then a few movies I got from Shout Factory, but I have three more from Shout Factory. Two, two of these are Blu-ray upgrades. Yeah, a while back, Shout Factory did a Roger Corman line of DVDs. Well, mainly DVDs, but a few Blu-rays. But some of the movies didn't get upgraded to Blu-ray until now. They're now now have been getting rebranded mainly as part of the Scream Factory line. So one of these is a limited edition Blu-ray that's exclusive to the Shout Factory website and it's a double feature. Cage T and Jackson County Jail. Cage T thrown into the penal hell of Connerville petty criminal Jacqueline Jacqueline, Erica, Gavin, Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, must fight against the ruthless inmates, the cruel warden played by Barbara Steele from the 1991 Dark Shadows TV show, and a depraved staff. Eventually, she forms an uneasy friendship with two hardened inmates. When these three unite, they find themselves on a sexy and violent adventure seeking escape, money, and revenge. Also starring Roberta Collins, Death Race 2000, and Rainbow Smith, Massacre at Central High, and written and directed by Jonathan Demme, The Silence of the Lambs, Caged Heat is inspired from start to finish, The Onion AV Club. Special features audio commentary with writer-director Jonathan Demme, Director of Photography, Tak Fujimoto, and actress Erica Gavin. And then Leonard Malton interviews Roger Corman, and you get the original theatrical trailer. And then Jackson County Jail, advertising executive Dinah Hunter, Yvette Minot, the time, from the movie The Time Machine, leaves a promising career in Los Angeles to start a new life in New York City, but her long cross-country drive becomes a nightmare after she picks up some hitchhikers and finds herself beaten up and stranded in a small town, then is thrown in, in the jailhouse on, vagrant, on vagrancy charges. At the mercy of some bad cops, Dinah finds a way to escape, finds a way to, to escape with Another prisoner, Tommy Lee Jones, from the movie Rolling Thunder. Now, the two embark on a wild car race from the police in this well-paced, well-crafted 70s cinema. And that's what Rock Shock Pop had to say about this. That's a website where they do movie reviews exploitation movies like this, like or like these two. And it's also starring Robert Carradine, Orca, Howard Hessman, Billy Jack, and Mary Warnoff, Death Race 2000, 
in Special Features Audio Commentary with Director Michael Miller, Producer Jeff Began, and Director of Photography Bruce Logan, and then Leonard Malton interviews Roger Corman, and you get the theatrical trailer. And both Cage T and Jackson County Jail are in 1080p, high definition, widescreen 1.85, and DTS HD Master Audio Mono English subtitles. And Cage T runs 79 minutes from 1974, and Jackson County Jail is 84 minutes from 1976. And they're both R-rated, special features not rated, color, region a lock, and English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing. So, two Roger Corman New World Pictures, Exploitation, Women in Prison Movies, Caged Heat, and Jackson County Jail, Once Part of Shop Factories, Roger Corman's cult classics DVD line, but now rebranded for the Screen Factory Blu-ray line. And then another Roger Corman production. It's another Blu-ray upgrade that a while back they put out on DVD only, but now it's on Blu-ray. Street Walkin'. She dropped out of high school this morning. Tonight, she's at Times... Square Hooker, street walk-in. She survived to night walking, or she turned to night walking to survive the streets. Now she's running through the streets to survive the night. Academy Award-winning actress Melissa Leo, the fighter, stars as Cookie, a teen runaway who escapes her abusive stepfather and heads for the Big Al Apple along with her younger brother. When she arrives at the Port Authority bus terminal, Cookie meets a charming but sadistic pimp named Duke, Dale Midkiff, from the movie Pet Cemetery. With nowhere to go, Cookie is soon working for Duke, who introduces her to the harsh, brutal life of a prostitute, a hero. A harrowing, fast-paced ride through the lurid streets of New York's terrifying underbelly. Street Walkin' also stars Antonio Farkas, Starsky and Hutch, Julie Newmar from Batman TV show, Leon Robinson, Cliffhanger, and Randall Battenkoff, Kick-Ass, and... and Condi Alexander from Treme, 2010 Best Performance by an Actress in a Supporting Role for the, the Fighter, and that's a star Melissa Leo. And I heard this isn't even her likeness used, and that's not even her likeness either, but that, that woman's face is what was used for the DVD cover art while well, this was the rever reverse side of a two-sided DVD cover art artwork for the DVD edition. Special features, audio commentary with director-writer Joan Freeman and producer-writer Robert Alden, and then you get the theatrical trailer. And audio is an DTS HD master audio stereo. 1080p high definition widescreen 1.85. It's in color, region A locked. Subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, rated R, 1985, 84 minutes. So another Roger Corman's cult classic DVD upgraded to Blu ray for Shout Factory Scream Factory line. Then one more Shout Factory Screen Factory Blu-ray. It's a European horror movie, I believe. I believe this is a Hammer Horror film or something like Hammer Horror. It's licensed from Studio Canal Circus of Horrors. 
One man's lust made men into beasts, stripped women of their souls for ever stranger th thrills. He turned the greatest show on earth into a circus of horrors, directed by Sidney Payers and the stars Anton Diffring, Erica Remberg, and Yvonne Monlaur. Lurid, imaginative, and unsettling Turner Classic movies, deranged plastic surgeon Anton Diffring takes over a traveling circus, then transforms horribly disfigured young women into ravishing beauties and coerces them to perform in his three rings extravaganza. But when the re-sculpted lovelies try to escape the clutches of the obsessed doctor, they begin to meet with sudden and horrific accidents. Now the trapeze is swinging, the knives are flying, the wild animals are on, or the wild animals are loose, and the grisliest show on earth is about to begin. And Donald Pleasance from the movie Halloween, Yvonne Monlor, Brides Dracula, co-star in this notorious 1960 British cult classic from writer George Bax, or George Bax, The City of the Dead, and director Sidney Hayer's Burn Witch Burn. Special features trailers from hell, featuring commentary by filmmaker John Landis. You get theatrical trailer and TV spots and a still gallery. You know, licensed from Studio Canal, and it's in color, not rated since this was released in 1960 before there were ratings. Yeah, region A locked, 1080p high definition widescreen 1.77, and the audio is HD mono English subtitles. And it runs 92 minutes. So, Circus of Horrors. So, recap the first half of my stuff. I got Scorpion Blu ray of Aloha Bobby and Rose from Amazon Prime. And for the Synapse Films, the DVD Blu ray. Steelbook combo of The Living Dead at Manchester Morgue. It's a European film also known as Don't Open the Window. It's also called Let Sleeping Corpses Lie. And then from Shout Factory, I got the 30th Anniversary Edition DVD of Sahara starring Brooke Shields. And from Shout Factory Screen Factory, the made-for-TV horror movie, The Spell. And then the Universal Pictures 50s creature feature licensed to Shout Factory Monster on campus. And then some Roger Corman cult classics for the Screen Factory line. These are limited edition Blu-rays. Double feature at Cage T in Jackson County Jail. And Street Walkin'. And the British horror cult classic Circus of Horrors. So that's all I got from Amazon Prime, Synapse, and Shout Factory. Now I have a big package of stuff to show off that I got from Kino Lorber's sale. One's a Blu-ray, Cult of the Damned, also known as Angel Angel, Down We Go. Why should Bogart, Peter St Stuyvesant, go to war and kill strangers when the pickings are better in his own bedroom? Jennifer Jones, Jordan Christopher, and Roddy McDowell as Santoro 
and Cult of the Damned, also known as Angel Angel, Down We Go. Brace yourself for the maddest Hollywood story ever with the stylish, decadent look at what happens when the upper crust meets the down and dirty, full-figured, deep, debutante, or debutante, Tara Nicole folk singer Holly Near returns home to her former stag film star mother, Jennifer Jones, who was Best Actress Oscar winner for The Song of Bernadette, only to fall under the influence of a charismatic, dangerous rock singer, Jordan Christopher, and his way out deviant bandmates, including Roddy, Roddy McDowell and Lou Rawls. This colorful cult chucker originally released as Angel, Angel, Down We Go from Robert Tom, the writer of Death Race 2000, Bloody Mama and the and Wild in the Streets, which also stars Jordan Christopher, is finally making its first ever home video debut. Cult of the Damned is part horror, part pop, pop musical, part black comedy, and all outrageous. Special features audio commentary with film historians Nathaniel Thompson and Tim Greer, and you get still gallery and original trailer. And this is, at least Orion Pictures, but it was American International Pictures put this out originally, and then American International Pictures had most of their library go to Filmways, and then it went to Orion Pictures, but now Orion Pictures is part of MGM, so this is licensed to Kino Lorber from MGM, and this was one of those MGM titles that Scorpion Releasing suggested to Kino. And I believe believe that Scorpion also did the extras on this one. But it's color 94 minutes, rated R, the audio is mono, 1080p, high, defini high definition, widescreen, 1.85, region A locked. So, Cult of the Damned. Scorpion, Kino Lorber, MGM title on Blu-ray. Then the next one is a Scorpion releasing Blu-ray that was, that's been, um, distributed by Kino Lorber. Where the boys are, 84, so it's a remake of the 60s. Comedy. When girls want a vacation filled with fun, sand, and romance, they go to Fort Lauderdale, where the boys are, 84, where all your dreams come true. Man, I can't read, I can't read that stuff. Yeah, I have to get that thing off. <laughs> See if I can get this barcode off of here. There we go. Lisa Hartman, Lorna Left, Lynn Holly Johnson, and Wendy and Wendy Skull star as four curvy college co-eds who head south to Fort Lauderdale on a spring break fun-seeking trek 
in this free wheeling comedy that's an 80s update of the original film. Carol Lorna left from the movie Grease 2 taking a separate vacation from her study. He winds up as a contender in a hot bad in a hot bod contest. Then Jenny Lisa Hartman Black Knots Landing and Tabitha is doubly e lucky courted by both a rich classic pianist as well as a devil may care rocker Russell Todd Chopping Mall and Sandra Lynn Holly Johnson for your eyes only and Ice Castles is looking for a Mr. Wright who will finally satisfy her. Then Lori went Wendy Scow Fantasy Island dreams only of a night of unbridled passion dreams only of a night of unbridled passion with a real man. So grab the suntan lotion and come on down to the sexy seashore to where the boys are 84. This cult classic is finally out on Blu-ray, so get ready to take a vacation that you'll never forget. Special features, brand new 2015 HD master from the original Inner Positive, an on-camera on -camera interview with star Wendy Scow, an on-camera interview with star Russell Todd, and you get the original theatrical trailer. It's in color, 1984, 94 minutes, rated R. English stereo and it's in a 1080p high definition high definition widescreen of 1.78. It's from ITV Studios, licensed to Scorpion, region A locked. Yeah, R rated. But I believe Shout Factory owns. either owns ITV Studios or they've got a deal to where they can they can stream this movie but I think the streaming version is just an older either really old videotape or just full frame DVD master so where the boys are 84 from Scorpion releasing but distributed via Kino Lorber. Then one movie that just recently has been out on both Blu-ray and DVD. It's a 70s comedy. The Chicken Chronicles. The Spirit of 69. When the lights turned off, the kids turned on. The Chicken Chronicles. And this is introducing Steven Gutenberg. So this was his, probably his first movie. And starring Ed Lauter and special guest star Phil Silvers, directed by Francis Simon. He's a high he's the high school senior with a system for everything. The Chicken Chronicles is a hilarious hark back to the late 1960s as a bunch of California high school kids face graduation in the era of absentee parents, drugs, sexual liberation, and Vietnam. In the middle of it all is David Kessler, Steve Gutenberg, Police Academy, and the bedroom window who is desperately trying to make out in the permissive society. He's torn between the all-American beauty Margaret Lisa Reeves from the movie The Pom Pom Girls and the worldlier Tracy Meredith Bayer private lessons while watching his younger brother make it all look so easy. On top of all this, with the senior prom looming, he starts having problems with his school principal and his boss at the chicken takeout. Written by Paul Diamonds, written by Paul Diamond from 
TV's Knight Rider and Miami Vice, and directed by Frank Simon. The Queen, The Chicken Chronicles, is a high-spirited comedy co-starring Phil Silvers. A funny thing happened on the way to the forum, and Ed... Ed Lauder, Youngblood, and Branscom Richmond, Hard to Kill, Clark Bradman, My Tudor, and John Grise, Real Genius. Special features audio commentary by film historian Lee Cabin, and then you get trailers. It's rated PG from 1977, so it's 70s PG color, 94 minutes, 1. 1.85 widescreen English subtitles region A locked. And this is one that Kino got from Studio Canal. So the Chicken Chronicles starring a very young Stephen or Steve Gutenberg, but called Stephen Gutenberg back then. And then I got the Blu-ray of the rock and roll concert movie Go Go Mania, which is also called Pop Gear. See in here 16 great acts, the shimmiest, sh shakenest, shiv shivery that ever er rocked the international beat Go Go Mania also known as Pop Gear, is a rollicking British music review film featuring concert footage from legendary rock acts like the Beatles, Eric Burden, and the Animals, Herman's Hermits, Spencer Davis Group, and many others. Each segment is introduced by Jimmy Savale, or Savile, Longtime host of BBC's Top of the Pops and includes She Loves You, Twist and Shout by the Beatles, The House of the Rising Sun, and Don't Let Me Be and Don't Let Me Me Be Misunderstood by the by the Animals and I'm Into Something Good by Herman's Hermits, My Babe by the Spencer Davis Group featuring Steve Winwood in A World Without Love by Peter and Gordon. Gordon, by Peter and Gordon, and Pop Gear, and Walk, Walk Away by Matt Monroe, and many, many more. Special features audio commentary, uh, audio commentary by entertainment journalist author Brian Riesman and songwriter and music journalist author Jeff Slate, and trailers, and it's not rated. It's from 1965. Color runs 70 minutes. And it's in a 2.35 widescreen English subtitles, region A locked, and it's another one licensed from Studio Canal. And another rock and roll movie, Blu ray. That'll be the day starring David Essex, Ringo Starr, and Keith Moon. And this is also licensed to Kino Lorber from Studio Canal, Britain, 1985, restless at school and bored with his life. Jim McLean, David Essex, Stardust, leaves home to take a series of low-level jobs at a seaside amusement at a seaside amusement park, with the help of his new friend Mike, the Beatles' Ringo Starr from the movie Candy. He soon discovers a wild world of cheap sex and petty crime, but when that world comes to a shockingly brutal end, Jim returns home to face his future as the local music scene explodes. Jim must decide between a life of adult responsibility or a new phenomenon called rock and roll, this honest and gritty drama said to be based on the early life of John Lennon is considered by fans and critics alike to be the best depiction of the 1950s British rock scene. That'll Be the Day features a soundtrack of classic songs by the Everly Brothers, Jerry Lee Lewis, Dion, 
Del Shannon, Little Richard, Frankie Lyman, Bobby Darren, Richie Valens, and more, and co-stars legendary drummer Keith Moon of The Who. Yeah, special features audio commentary by entertainment journalist, author Brian Reisman, and you get trailers, Ray PG, 1973, color 91 minutes, 1.85 widescreen, English subtitles, region A locked. DTS audio, so I don't know if that's mono or if that's stereo. It's another Studio Canal licensed film to Kino Lover. And then I got the DVD editions of The Chicken Chronicles. As well as the DVD edition of Go Go Mania, aka Pop Gear. And the DVD of that would be the day. And it's a set. And the this song is, or this movie is the same name as a song, I believe, by Betty Holly. Even though this is supposed to be a British rock and roll movie. I believe Betty Holly was American. The DVD says Dolby Audio. So... From Kino Loper during their sale, I got the Scorpion MGM Blu-ray, Cult of the Damned. And then the Scorpion Blu-ray, Where the Boys Are, 84. 80s cult movie sex comedy that's a remake of a 60s comedy. So there's two... Scorpion titles, and I got the Blu-ray of the seventh Indies comedy, The Chicken Chronicles, starring Steve Steve Gutenberg. And I got the Blu-ray of the rock sixties rock and roll movie Go Go Mania, also called Pop Gear. And this, and. The British 70s rock and roll drama, That'll Be the Day. And then I got the DVD editions of The Chicken Chronicles, starring Steve Gutenberg. The DVD edition of Go Go Mania, aka Pop Gear. And the DVD edition of That'll Be The Day. Yeah, I just had to have a DVD version as well since I collect DVDs as well as Blu-rays. And these are ones I never had. Well, I had a bootleg a Go Go Mania, but I had to get the actual release, so... Yeah, I already showed off, or did my recap of my stuff I got from Amazon Prime, Synapse, and Shout Factory. So that's it for my August DVD and Blu-ray update. I've got one more Blu-ray coming in the mail soon by Monday from Dark Force Entertainment. It's just one, so this was most of my DVD and Blu-ray buys for August 2020. So I'm Tim, and thanks for watching my update video, and keep an eye out 
for another update video coming soon to my YouTube channel. So, thanks for watching my DVD and Blu-ray update. Get the light out of my eyes. <laughs>